And as oil rebounds, so have shares of Parsley Energy. The stock higher today after the company beat earnings estimates for the first quarter. And it's a continuing a furious rally up 90 percent or thereabouts since back on March 20th. Parsley also did something odd. It increased its quarterly dividend to five cents a share while it is suspending all new drilling and fracking activity until demand picks back up. Its CEO is Matt Gallagher, and he's one of the youngest CEOs in the industry, and he's been pushing Texas to slash output for the first time in decades. He joins us now. Mr. Gallagher, welcome back to CNBC. It's good to see you. Uh, your numbers uh, were, were good on the uh, bottom line, EPS uh, 29 cents versus the estimate of 25 cents, but revenue was down. Are you beginning to see the first signs of a demand rebound at all? Hi, Tyler. Thanks so much for having me back on the show. I think a rebound might be a strong word, but I do believe we have definitely seen a demand bottom. Here in Texas, we're getting back to opening up the economy slowly but surely. So you are seeing uh, a rebound from that very low bottom. Right now, West Texas Intermediate is at $24 a barrel. It's up to, as Dom just reported, I think 20% today. If oil stays in that range of, let's say, 22 to 32, what does that mean for your company and your, and more broadly, the industry in which you're a player? Sure. Well, the industry is definitely not out of the woods yet. Even a recovery to the mid-20s is not sufficient for the majority of operators to continue on. So this is a healthy level for us. We've actually increased our free cash flow on the year, our target to $300 million from $250 million, even in the face of this massive pullback in pricing. Uh, but we're going to need to see the industry is going to need to see pricing north of $30 to maintain production flat into 2021. Matt, it's Kelly here back in the studio. And I'm curious about the value of your hedges and whether that's playing a role in what you're able to do with the dividend. It's a tremendous asset for us. Dividend is a priority, but we have over a billion dollars of forecasted hedge settlements if you're going to see $20 pricing. So no doubt it gives us comfort that this dividend is safe for a long time. Yeah, time. and it was yeah. a, a super clairvoyant move on your part. And by the way, the whole Wall Street Journal article that kind of details uh, what you've done at Parsley, I, I heartily mm. recommend everybody read. So what happens now? I mean, it sounds like as of yesterday that Ryan Sitton, who was pushing for uh, some kind of prorating or a quota, has, or, or tech, the Tax Railroad Commission altogether has abandoned that. Um, what would you like to see happen now? Well, you're going to see every company make their own decision. We curtailed our May production to the tune of 25%. It's just a simple logic. When you have global demand down between 20 and 30%, everybody should do their part in the near term to help balance these markets in the time of pandemic. I think you're going to see uh, shut-ins from 10 to 40 to 60%, depending on the operator. They're just going to come too late to forestall, obviously, the negative pricing we saw. So we will see markets balance here over the next couple of months. So how much production have you taken offline and how much do you anticipate taking offline? I assume I assume you're not spending on new on new construction or new wells at all. That's right. We don't want to sanction new projects. These projects are about 60 million dollars a pop. And until we see clear visibility to that $25 to $30 pricing where we can realize we're holding back on new capital projects. We've taken off to the tune of about 25 to 30,000 barrels a day net to our company uh, uh, as of this morning. So let's come back to the idea that, that oil stays in this neighborhood for the next 10 months or so. The weak go away, the, 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 the crippled limp through. What happens? It's going to be a lot of bandages and a lot of triage going on across the industry, if that's the case. Uh, we've said it before, there's about six companies that can pay off their, their debt, partially being one of them, through their producing wells only. So they would have to sanction new projects and have a positive return on those projects to be able to pay off their debt in full past year. So uh, sub $30 is, is going to be a challenging world uh, for tens, to, uh, tens of operators out there across the complex.